the salty kitchen and it is time to harvest honey. Normally I would use this bucket here to brew my beer in, but I am going to use it to extract the honey that I'm going to pull from those frames out in that hive in the garden. The other thing that I'm working on in the salty kitchen are fermenting some things. I'm going to ferment honey and I'm going to make mead in a couple of weeks. I am also fermenting um, cucumbers, making fermented pickles because I have an enormous amount of cucumbers in the salty garden and I have to figure out what to do with all those things. So in the meantime, I want to show you all the liquid gold that we pulled out of my hive where Donna the Queen Bee and all of her worker bees have been furiously working during the summer and spring season of this year. Fast, fast. Gently. Because you don't get to come with us. All right, well, that was an eventful experience getting the bees off of the frames and then into this tote. But these are my these are my frames of capped honey. So I'm going to take these. Oh, that's heavy. I'm going to take these frames over to my friend's house and we are going to extract the honey out of these frames. They're starting to find us. The bees? It happens. Yeah, and then she'll go back and tell her friends, so... Hold on, let's see. Are you guys done? Are you waiting on me? Hers are done. Mine are done. Okay. That was awful. Oh my god. Isn't it glorious? So then this, this is what people are basically, you're filtering out the chunks, the wax, the bee wings, the whatever, <laughs> right? Okay. But it's not like a filtered honey. So you're still going to get like all the pollen and okay. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Just like beautiful. Wow. I can't believe it's still coming out. You can see the honey going out. <laughs> you tip it a little bit. You still have you have to get more of what you already did. So you did six. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's look at this sticky mess. This is the cap that I cut off of the honey, but there's still honey in there. So. I need to strain and sieve out this remaining honey in here. So I should be using a paint sieve, but Walmart and Home Depot did not have that. So I'm going to try and use a bunch of cheesecloth. See how it works. Well, it's working. It's working. That's all that matters, right? So you can kind of tell, like, there's, it's not. It's not capped anymore. Um, so I'm going to put them in there for 24 hours. I'm going to put them back on the hive for 24 hours and then I'm going to take them off. When they're on for 24 hours, the bees are going to clean them up. And then I'm going to remove those and prepare them for storage. And they got super pissed at me this morning. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to get as pissed today. Of the sick this evening. There we go. Mm. Sticky, sticky mess. Super. Uh, here we go. 
children. So I'll come back tomorrow evening. I'm going to take this one off tomorrow evening and then I will leave the two deeps and that medium for the fall and winter. So, let's see how much they clean it up between tonight and tomorrow night. Look at how clean these are. 24 hours ago, these were a sticky mess and they are absolutely spick and span clean. I can't get over it. These bees are absolutely amazing. All right, for the action shot, here we go. 